Hey, this is Jody with WeldingTipsAndTricks.com with another weekly video. This week's video is a bit unusual because I'm just kind of showing you a summary of uh, 2012's videos because the 2012 YouTube DVD compilation is ready. It's done. It's ready to ship. So it's all broken down into category. And you might ask yourself, well, why would anybody, why would anybody make DVDs uh, and sell them of videos that are available for free on YouTube? Well, because people ask me to. A lot of people have trouble watching them due to a slow, a slow internet connection, or their school blocks them, or they don't want to just depend on them being available on YouTube forever, and they want to go ahead and get them so they can plug them in a DVD player and see them on a big screen and use them for learning and for instruction and whatnot. But whatever the case. Um, it's it's a four disc set. It's a whole year's worth of work, and it took four discs to get them on there. And if you buy the whole set of four discs, you also get a fifth one, which is a bonus DVD. It's a TIG welding jump start kit on uh, how to improve your TIG welding and how to get started TIG welding. Just some skill exercises that'll make you better and get you started off on the right foot, both steel and aluminum. But that's available if you buy the whole set. I'm just showing you some examples here of things that are on the TIG welding portion. I just got through showing you some TIG welding chromoly cluster joints and there's an aluminum butt joint and 11 gauge steel. Here's a, a walk in the cup arc shot on an open butt v-groove plate with an eighth inch gap, eighth inch rod. There's lots of tips in, 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 in this whole set. There's a whole lot of stuff. Again, it's a whole year's worth of work. Over seven hours worth of, of, uh, of total hours worth of video. Lots of tips, lots of instruction. Here's the second pass on that same plate plate test. These settings on a plate test will work good on pipe also, by the way. Also included it, it, that we did in 2012 was this repair on a uh, aluminum boat prop showing how to cut off the damaged section and TIG weld bead after bead to replace the metal and then blend it down, smooth it down, make it pretty much good as new using copper for a backing. I did a 6G series preparing, help, wanting to help students prepare to go take a uh, 6G test because I remember what that's like. I remember the nerves and so I, hopefully that helps somebody. But I showed walking the cup as well as freehand techniques for root and hot pass on TIG and then followed up with stick and I'll show you that a little bit later in the video when we get to talking about stick. But I have seen videos showing just this for around $35 just for the 6G video. And it's included here in this set. Of course, lots of little jobs like this came in the shop in 2012. This is a specialty wrench that's just, just like a socket weld. So if you could weld this, you could weld a socket pipe weld. And I showed free handing techniques as well as walking the cup techniques. Here's something else, a lap joint, vertical lap joint, vertical outside quarter joint, all kinds of things. Tips, hand positioning, weld machine settings, filler rod sizes, electrode sizes, all of it's in there. Very instructive uh, DVD set. I'm giving you right now just a whole bunch of shots. It's just there's so much work and a year's worth of work, it's hard to just give you a shot or two as I'm making this little uh, trailer here thing. And also, I kind of can't help but put my instructor hat on from time to time. Also, some more TIG welding chromoly cluster joints like this, some tips for filling gaps, tips for using pulse, high-speed pulse like the rule of 33, how well that works for TIG welding chromoly tubing when there's a slight gap. Tips for hand positioning, tips for argon backing, tips for using aluminum foil to get better shielding gas on a cluster joint. Stainless steel multi-pass showing walking the cup as well as freehand techniques. Now it's kind of TIG heavy, I'll go ahead and tell you, but we do have it broken down into sections. So if you just want the TIG, you can just buy the TIG section. Or if you just want uh, MIG stick plasma or something like that, that's available by itself. But again, there's a fifth bonus DVD if you buy the whole set. Here's some, some TIG welding 4140 two-pass lap joint. Now let's take a little peek at the MIG stick plasma cutting section. Again, it's all broken down into uh, 
separate menus where you can you can watch sequentially one video after another just play all and let it play or you can browse videos and pull up each individual description title and thumbnail of the video and see a little preview of what you're going to see in it again it is a year's worth of work captured on on videos over seven hours of stuff in addition with the bonus of DVD so we put a lot of work into the menu here to just to try to make it a good experience for for people getting this DVD we wanted it to be one of the best welding DVDs out there and we included a little plasma cutting there a little uh, beveling test plates using the plasma cutter other tips on on uh, plasma cutting including the importance of dryness of air and and, uh, and that sort of thing plenty of arc shots showing MIG projects that came in the door but also just MIG joints like lap joints butt joints T joints machine settings techniques that you can use did a little slicing and dicing of welds to prove them out there's some there's some footage here showing setting the wire feed speed and what happens when you what it looks like when there's not enough when there's too much wire feed speed etc call that the how not to weld section along with just plenty of of jobs that came in the door where we use the MIG to fabricate things even some aluminum MIG welding with a spool gun on a big thick heavy aluminum fixture and while we were at it we did some vertical uphill MIG welding on some three-quarter inch thick stuff two pass weld little weave there after the root pass and then also talked about how to slice and dice and polish and etch and then determine whether you get good good quality penetration on welds like this q-tip swab etch so you can uh, differentiate between weld metal and base metal some tips on how to do that just again general joints like lap joints open butt V V groove like this horizontal joint tons of stuff so just sections on uh, just certain welding MIG welding techniques like this to achieve a certain look on the appearance and, and still maintain a good bead you know good weld quality and then the stick portion of that 6G test cover pass again I know what it's like to be a bundle of nerves and be on the road somewhere to taking a taking a 6G welding test and any help any help you can give a student will help those nerves and that's what I was trying to do there by doing the 6G video series some multi-pass stick weld tips using some different rods and also the uh, a few videos on the Boy Scout merit badge welding series using stick MIG as well as a self shielded flux core so once again if you got a slow internet connection or you just want to get these get these DVDs for your library and make sure that you have them make sure that you know no matter what happens to YouTube or if I decide to pull them off of YouTube and put them somewhere else that you'll have them from now on they'll be in your collection so all you need to do is go to welding-tv.com that's gonna look something like this there's a heading up top called buy stuff and it'll take you right exactly where you need to go to check out the DVDs or welding tips and tricks dot com the nav bar on the left has the first thing is says store and that's where you need to go and you can check out the DVDs and all the other products we have for sale like TIG fingers and t-shirts and things like that that's it for this week I appreciate your support thanks for watching see you next week